To start configuring your inverter, you must first access its Wi-Fi interface. So step one, go to your phone or computer's Wi-Fi connections, and you will see that your inverter is detected in the list of devices. It will be in the format of SMA, followed by the serial number of the inverter. The first time you access the Wi-Fi interface, the password you need to use is SMA12345, ensuring that S, M, and A are in capital letters. After the initial commissioning of the inverter, this password will change to the WPA2-PSK password written on the label of your inverter. Once you access the interface, you will need to log in as an installer, and you will first be prompted to create a password. This password is required in order to register the inverter on Sunny Portal. So make sure that you create a password that is easy to remember and that you'll be able to use later on. Once you are logged in on the interface, it will ask you if you wish to go ahead with the installation assistant. So click on configuration with installation assistant to start configuring the inverter. The first step in the installation assistant will give you the option to synchronize your Sunny Boy to your Wi-Fi connection. So if you wish to do that, scroll down to WLAN and select activate WLAN. It will give you a list of detectable networks around your inverter, so make sure that you select the one that you need. So in this case, we'll connect to this one and set a password. You will notice that the top of the screen will give you a list of detectable networks. Um, you will see that it is already connected to my Ethernet connection, but it is now also connected to the Wi-Fi. So let's go and save and next. The next step is to set up the time. So if your inverter is connected to the internet or to a network, you can set this to automatic time synchronization on, which means that the inverter will automatically pick up the time from the internet. The time zone as well. So let's go save and next. The next one is the country standard. So make sure that you select the one that you need. Save and next. This next step is to synchronize your energy meter to the inverter. So you'll have the option to add it or to remove it as you wish. The last parameter is if you need to uh, disconnect the inverter in case, um, for instance, the home manager sets the limitation at 0%. So you can set this to no by default or yes. So in this one, we'll simply set it to no. The second option you have available in this grid management section is again to set the reactive power of the inverter. So you can set this to no by default or yes. So in this one, we'll simply set it to no. So if everything is good, Go and click on Save and Next. This last page gives you a summary of overview of all the parameters we have just set on the inverter. So the bottom of the page gives you an option to export the summary, whether for yourself or for your customer. And so if everything is done, click on Continue to finish the commissioning. Now that the Sunny Boy is fully commissioned, the home page will provide you information of the PV plant if you have an SB 1.5, 2.5, or any of the above models. The menu button gives you access to the instantaneous values of the inverter as well as the device parameters, for example if you need to alter grid parameters on the unit. It also gives you access to the event page for failures and warnings and device configuration. Under device configuration, it gives you the opportunity to update the firmware of the inverter as well as removing or adding an SMA energy meter. Finally, user settings again gives you access to the installation assistant as well as the SMA grid guide login if you need to make alterations in the inverter parameters. At this stage, bear in mind that the Wi-Fi password of your inverter will have changed to the WPA2-PSK password written on the label of your inverter. So after the initial configuration, make sure that you go back to your phone or computer's Wi-Fi settings and use that new password. Finally, the inverter is available on, to be registered on Sunny Portal. So if you go on www.sunnyportal.com and go through the Plan Setup Assistant, you will have the opportunity to use the PIC, RID, and the installation password, install password that you previously set on the inverter. 
in order to register it on Sunny Portal. I hope this tech tip was helpful to commission your SMA inverter with inbuilt Wi-Fi via its web interface. My name is Cyril. Thanks for watching.